I got some fly shit on. Yeah. Keeping all black outfit on. Yeah. I already what up guys, welcome to the Dizon Docs. It's your host, uh, you know, me, Ronnie, Ronnie Dizon. Uh, follow me on Instagram right here, right here, right here. Come on, I need some followers. I'm trying to get to 10K, let's go baby. So this is gonna be the Prague recap. It's gonna be from Friday to Sunday of the event. I wanna say a huge thank you to Paintball Channel for giving me some footage of the team on the field. Uh, if without them, this vlog wouldn't be what it is. Um, sadly, I didn't get much footage of Sunday, so you're gonna have to bear with my narration of that day. But if you guys wait until the end, I got some really sweet announcements, so enjoy the vlog. Is he doing it again? Dude, he's coming in really hot. That guy's ripping it, dude. I did. I don't know. Welcome to the D's on Docks. Uh, good morning. It's the first day of the tournament. Everyone wake up. Uh, all right, gonna gear up. And uh, we play in like an hour. So I'll see you guys over there. Tier two. There's a Hide. There's a yours, Devin. Interesting. Interesting. We need that 1080. Yeah, get you some of that, Playboy. Wow. 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 You smoking cigarettes, The vlog light. I mean, we are in Europe, right? So. Hey, I heard you had a great flight over here. You had a great. Yeah. And now a word from one of my biggest fans, Damian Ryan. Ronnie's vlog is the best. I like American Airlines. What? All of my vlogs because my vlogs are the best. Damien really likes them. Right to the front. It's seriously the best. We're gonna take you up here. Scoopy poop, 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 poop. It's exactly poop, poop, what Ronnie's vlog looks like every time. Shout I out to Kanye. Poop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. All right, about to play our first prelim game. So I'll talk to you guys after the match and let you know how it goes. So our first game was against Five Star Lydia. I think that's how you say it. Uh, featuring Jason Edwards, Jacob. Edwards and Tim Montresor from Tampa Bay Damage. So it's kind of an underlying grudge match. I mean, we got friends on the team. We have, you know, previous affiliations with some of the guys on the team. So uh, we really wanted to win this game. And it's always fun to be able to say you beat your friends. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> The food here at the Prague event is actually a lot better than any event I've been to. They have like Indian food, uh, pasta, like you name it. Um, yeah, good job. Thank you. 
So our second game was against Breakout Spa featuring Damian, uh, Todd Martinez as a coach, and uh, Trevor Reeser, who's texting me right now? Anyway, like I was saying, Breakout Spa. I didn't end up getting any footage of this game because Paintball Channel didn't film this game and I was playing. So uh, here's the score. We moved on from Friday going 2-0. Oh. <laughs> uh, just won our second prelim game, heading back to the hotel to get some dinner because we're, uh, we're going to be late or close to being late. Uh, so quick showers and then dinner time and then I'll break down the day for you guys uh, when I get back to the hotel. Peace. Definitely forgot to break down the day, but... Um, yeah, on to day two. Uh, we went 2 0. I mean, what else is there to say? After beating Joy Division in a really close game, we ended up playing PP Arena, who was actually doing very well this event. Um, shout out to those guys, they work really hard and uh, it shows because they've been giving some top teams a run for their money and uh, we had to bring it to them. Here's the score right here. And that leaves us 4-0 going into Sunday. Afterwards, HK Army held a nice little autograph signing at their booth. This thing in my head. Hey. That's what she said. <laughs> Well, that's the thing I think the impact is. They need some bodies and kind of roll you asleep a little bit. You think, okay, we have more bodies there. We'll start with the moves. All of a sudden, somebody just got me to swap the room. And it just happens so quickly. And it starts, now Paris can't start to make a move in the stage one. Uh, Justin Ravikoff takes a lucky match. Now they're able to do the one. Yeah, see, they play it. I'm sure the left balance was also in the left of the group. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's that. It's second and fourth half. Oh, and it's good. So this is what we just talked about. So, you know, squandering the opportunity. Jackson could take the thing out. Oh, wow. And, and he made it. And now, 
Josh is also very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, look, he's changing the position. A guy doesn't know about that. Justin is standing in the back zone. Justin is going to be tired by the third tower. And right now, Kiki can't afford to die in a gunfight. He's going to talk and not fight. Yeah. Just let Magno go to work. Yeah. Magno is going to get the kill shot, kill shot, kill. So this is what we saw to Magno already. And Kerm got dominated. He went straight down to ball, 5 to 0. And, yeah, he won that shot. And he did the line of the stage. And they get a kill, though. Four, he's four on three right. Uh, and he's got that for Canadian. That one. We, we haven't seen very many low body situations for lockouts. Yeah, okay. not, not so far today. I'm about to get all Casey nice set with you because you know he always zooms in when uh, he gets all serious. But uh, sadly, this is where our vlog footage comes to an end. We moved on going 4 0 into Sunday, but like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I don't really have footage of Sunday. In the quarterfinals, we played against Red Storm Amelia. They had Archie Montemayor and Jesse Stevens from X Factor, as well as Callie from Infamous ringing for them. And then they had some Russian guys as well. The game was very close and I'm gonna give the MVP of that game to Mishka because he played out of his mind. He won a two on one against uh, Archie and Callie um, and he won a one on one I think. So uh, he basically saved that game for us to move on to the semifinals, which was against Impact. Now Impact really had our number. They beat us by an absurd amount of points. They beat us straight up and we underperformed. Now, in the States, you'd be knocked out, but in Europe, you play for third and fourth. And we played the Tom Tons for third and fourth. I personally felt that the team was flat for this game and the Tom Tons were just playing better at that point. You could sense in the vibe of the pit that we weren't the same intensity that we've been all tournament and in previous games before. The Tom Tons played well and they beat us giving us a fourth place finish in Prague. So to make up for the lack of footage on Sunday, I did take some footage of the finals. The finals were Expendables, AKA Dynasty versus Edmonton Impact. Um, I took them on my phone, so I apologize for the shaky footage, but I'm gonna hit you guys with some raw footage. Enjoy the uh, shaky raw footage of the sidelines. So I'm gonna give you some sort of narration during this match, just to make it a little bit more interesting and clear. The Expendables were mostly Dynasty guys, so you got Tyler Harmon, Marcelo Margot, Ryan Greenspan, Blake Yarber, and Yosh Rao, as well as Maddie Kling, who stepped up for them to play on the starting five. Impact was at full strength. So a particular highlight that I wanted to point out was when Rainey on the right side and Tyler Harmon were mirrored up at these Doritos and Marcelo was looking over at Rainey. Rainey stepped up high when Marcelo looked away, clipped him in the pack, and then immediately tried to run down Tyler. Tyler gives him a little wave goodbye and uh, proceeds to go down the Dorito side, shooting at the only guy left was the back left corner and uh, winning this point for them. So early in the match, the Expendables went up a good amount of points against Impact. And uh, the only thing is, Impact... They're really good at coming back. That's all they've been doing all year long consistently, and it's just something that they're really good at. I, I can't explain how many times they've come back against the Russians, against any team out there uh, from a deficit of points, and fast points are their forte, and tying up the games is one of their strong suits. They get a lot scarier when it's three-on-fives just because of how great they are at picking up zones. Here's a uh, quick little highlight of Justin Rabikoff trying to pull back a point. Uh, he goes down the Dorito side, finds an opening to go to their side of the field, and uh, gets a shot in on the snake corner for the Expendables. It looks like it was Maddie Kling or Ryan Greenspan, I can't tell. Um, tries to get a shot in on Tyler Harmon. Backs up, and Marcelo ends up picking him off crossfield. Now these next few clips are going to be just small highlights of Impact essentially putting the gas pedal down to try to win the points back that they are in a deficit by. Sometimes 
better than people slow walking off. I fucking hate that shit. guys. <laughs> JC definitely. Alright, Impact has uh, 20 seconds to score another point to tie the game against the Expendables. Motherfuckers. Dude, your sunglasses look real sweet. They do look sweet. Like, look at it in the camera. Are they real? <laughs> nah, they're fake as f You got them from yeah, Taiwan. They're real, they're real. Nah, they're real. fake. Fake. Oh, yeah. They're fake. I wasn't there with them when he bought them. Yeah. Fake. 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 fake news. See, it. See if the Expendables can hold them off. I think they, I think they got it. I think they got it, too. I think they got it. No, nope, not the way Tyler's running. Oh, they're getting spicy. Toss on the Dorito side. How's that, Mike? Oh, I think they run out of here, though. Woo! All right. Thank you for watching this prog recap vlog. Uh, now, those important, blah, 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 those important announcements that I had to make. Uh, I talked to Virtue Paintball, and I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway with them. Huge giveaway. So they're going to be giving away a, not this one, because this one's used, a brand new Spire 3, and you're gonna get a Virtue, uh, here, I'll put a picture up. You're gonna get a Virtue Contour Goggle, brand new. So, a Virtue Contour Goggle, and a brand new Spire 3 of your choice. All you have to do is the following steps. I, I can read these too if you want. Um, um, so, uh, follow me on Instagram. That's step number one. Step number two, follow Virtue Paintball on Instagram. Step number three, head over to Virtue Paintball's Instagram page, go to the post of me talking, and comment why you think you should deserve to win the brand new Virtue Spire and the Contour Goggle. And that's it, you're entered to win. And we're gonna be picking a winner one week from the upload date of this video. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, oh, one more thing. Um, You guys might have seen this. Um, it's a brand new Lux Ice. Ooh. Polished teal with dust teal parts. Uh, this is for sale. Uh, I posted it a few places. I figured I'd show you guys, uh, see if any of my YouTube audience would be interested in purchasing this if you guys haven't already seen it on sale. So head over to my Instagram account, shoot me a DM, and uh, maybe we could work out a deal. Oh, also, let me put this back before I drop it. I will include my game-worn Houston Heat jersey from uh, the NXL London event. It is an, uh, it's an XL. So, jersey and gun are for sale. Uh, and uh, if you buy the gun, I'll throw the jersey in as well. So, head over to my Instagram, hit me up. Thank you for watching the Design Docs. I got some exciting stuff coming up these next few weeks because I'm home until uh, the Chicago Open practices. So, uh, stay tuned and uh, goodbye. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. Poop dee scoop dee scoop dee whoop. Whoopie dee scoop whoop poop. Poop dee dee whoop scoop.